When we started TapSnap, we were really looking to build a better photo booth. We looked at the, you know, we talked to lots of people that are in the photo booth business, and our research showed us that there was a lot of money being made, that a traditional photo booth, traditional photo booth operators were booking hundreds of events a year with pretty mediocre equipment. So our vision originally was just to make a better photo booth um, and really capture all of the, you know, the weddings and the mitzvahs, um, you know, small corporate events, you know, corporate Christmas parties, the type of events that the regular photo booths were booking. And we really, you know, where we've seen tremendous opportunity actually is, you know, almost by accident is on the corporate side where now we've recognized that there's, you know, in, in looking, in trying to invent a better photo booth, we ended up creating this, you know, this marketing, um, you know, opportunity for these large companies that, you know, they don't hire us for entertainment. Specifically, they hire us to, you know, to get the word out on social media and for our, um, you know, the ability for TapSnap to engage with customers or fans or potential customers at an event and, uh, you know, push social media traffic for that, for that event. We started working with Alea kiosks originally in 2001 uh, for pay kiosks, uh, you know, our first, um, you know, business opportunity company. Uh, Frank's company built those machines, built, you know, hundreds of those units for us. And then when we were uh, with DVD Now, we built those machines offshore, but then decided with TapSnap, we take advantage of the opportunity to come back to building machines within the United States and, uh, you know, take advantage of the, the opportunity to work with Frank again on this project. The idea for TapSnap actually came from Frank Alea. He approached me at a kiosk trade show and um, I was excited about the idea to, to create a, a photo booth for the you know, modern version of a photo booth. And initially, I wasn't very excited about the idea. But as we you know kicked it around for you know for a few months, we started to you know really see how you know see an opportunity to do something different. You know, we learned a lot more about the photo booth industry. Saw that there was a lot of money being made from companies that pretty much all had the same piece of equipment. Some of them had. You know, some limited ability to share prints through email, or, or maybe could upload to Facebook after an event. But we saw an opportunity to connect an event in real time to social media. Um, you know, have a machine that instead of having a you know a, a small monitor had a you know a giant 42 inch touchscreen, make an experience that was you know more like using a giant iPad at an event than using a traditional photo booth. So Frank introduced the idea to us, and now he's our manufacturing partner on it. And uh, the machines are built in Los Angeles. But it was really the, you know, he planted the seed, but it really took shape over a few months as we, um, you know, really, you know, through a process of still continuing to consider other businesses, we kept coming back to the idea of doing this, um, you know, doing this giant iPad-like device for events. And, um, you know, once we made the decision to get into it, it was probably about, you know, somewhere between eight to nine months in, in development, you know, working on the software. Frank took us through, multiple versions of the kiosk. Um, you know, his engineers were producing, you know, different versions, different size monitors, um, you know, machines that were designed to be portable, but it ended up not being that portable for events. Uh, you know, ultimately we, we settled on a machine that uh, broke into two pieces so that it was more uh, easily transported in and out of events. And, uh, you know, so the, through the eight or nine months, we were working on our software, Frank was working on the hardware, and then we did our first event in uh, June of 2012. We knew we had a hit right after our first event. Uh, it was a wedding in June of 2012. We literally received the prototype unit the day before the event. Um, you know, our software had, you know, it had, it was great, but it still had, you know, it still had uh, some bugs in it. And, you know, the machine was, you know, it was a little buggy at the event. Nobody noticed except for us. We obviously look at the the system with a you know a different set of eyes than a than a guest at a party. But despite the little problems, everybody loved it. We came out of it with future bookings. Um, you know, we were we were the focal point of of the of the party. And we actually have a we have a wedding coming up in a few weeks. That's a you know another referral from that from that same event. Uh, you know, more than a year ago. After that event, we you know we took the next you know six or seven months perfecting the software, um, you know, improving any, uh, the, uh, the hardware. We went from a, a one-piece design that was, uh, you know, decidedly unportable, uh, very difficult to move in and out of that first event that was in somebody's backyard, um, uh, to a machine that's a, a two-piece design, much easier to transport. Uh, you know, we spent time working on the software, added more features, 
put the kinks out and then started franchising in, uh, you know, in the beginning of, of 2013. We chose to franchise TapSnap because our, our, you know, in addition to technology, our other strength as a company is in putting entrepreneurs into business. Um, we considered franchising DVD Now, but ultimately decided that it wasn't, it wasn't a business that was conducive to a franchise model for a number of reasons. With TapSnap, we, you know, we felt that there was an opportunity to really build a brand. Uh, you know, there's no one large national brand in the photo entertainment industry. Um, we also saw an opportunity to offer services that would be of benefit to people that were making the transition from a corporate America job to, um, you know, to operating the first business. So things like, you know, having a call center to take calls. So if somebody's at their day job, we're able to take the call at our call center. Um, you know, we can work on national accounts on their behalf. So we have a corporate team that's out there working with companies like Apple, Wiseskin Entertainment, LG, um, you know, Samsung, many other large companies to book large scale corporate events. And then, you know, ultimately the, you know, to really have a, you know, a, a, a brand. I mean, it, the photo entertainment industry is, is a, it's a business that's made up of mom and pop. So you have these little, um, you know, little companies that might operate, you know, f you know, five to ten machines in one local area, but there's no reach, they have no reach beyond that local area. So with TapSnap, we're able to, um, you know, offer the same experience in, you know, in cities all over North America, and uh, which is attractive to, to large companies that are looking to book us. So when we do something, we did an event recently for the premiere of the um, sequel to The Hunger Games, where we're able to do the exact same event in 24 cities on the same night at the same time. And there's just simply no way that, I mean, Lionsgate wouldn't have considered doing something like that, even if there was a company that had the same piece of equipment, uh, you know, they're not gonna hire a different company in 24 different cities. So, you know, being a franchise system allows us to have, um, you, know, a, you know, one single presence in, in multiple markets all over the country at the same time. You know, as a franchisor, there's been lots of fantastic events, or lots of fantastic moments over the last uh, over the last year. Probably none as as great as when you get the call from a franchisee that they've closed a great event. And um, you know, our our top event of, of 2013 was the uh, the one we did in the Westin, which is uh, for the Westin, which was a four day four kiosk event in Grand Central Station. Um, you know, we closed out the year with a fantastic event in, in Detroit for the. Uh, the NHL Winter Classic. Uh, it's a you know six-day event with a couple of machines. Um, you know when our, we were hired by Fox Sports, uh, and of course the um, you know the event that we did for uh, for Lionsgate Entertainment, which was the the premiere of um, the Hunger Games sequel, Catching Fire, which really showed how our franchisees can work together to pull off uh, an event at the same time in 24 cities. And you know, some of our franchisees for that event actually drove, you know, we had a couple of cities where we didn't have franchisees, but we were able to, um, to get a couple of volunteers to drive in and do the events. And these franchisees drove, you know, in some cases eight or 10 hours to do the event, to be a part of it, to contribute to the, uh, you know, to the success of a franchise, of TapSnap as a franchise. What's changed over the last, years that we've really started to recognize where we can add value as the franchisor, uh, you know, the areas that our franchisees need help. Um, you know, for example, we have a you know, strong focus now at training on, um, on sales training. We have a professional sales trainer that comes in and works with the team for an entire day, works with each new class. Um, you know, we've really recognized the opportunity on the corporate side of the business, so we've built up our corporate department, so our corporate sales team is out there working on booking events on our franchisees' behalf, um, and franchise support. I mean, you know, our franchise, everybody, everybody in franchise support goes out and does their own events, so they know what it's like to book an event, they know what it's like to be at an event, um, you know, they know what it's like to be at an event if there's a problem, so we understand what, you know, how important it is to provide timely and, um, you know, helpful support if somebody's setting up for an event and something does happen to go wrong. So it's, not, I mean, it's, it's, it's also that we've learned over the last year and, and uh, you know, our trainings have gotten better, our support has gotten better, and we're continuing, we're committed to continuing to improve our, our support. To me, TapSnap's killer feature is the green screen. Uh, it's something that we've had it now for probably, you know, four or five months, and it's, it, 
it's amazing. I mean, people can change the the background. So you you know, we did one recently where it was we were doing an event for Fox Sports, and we you know the subject of the photos is actually behind. You know, they look like they're sitting at the sports news desk. Uh, you know, people use it just for fun to put themselves into a virtual background. You know, a beach scene. Uh, you know, they could be on. Uh, in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, or outer space, or you know, fighting a dinosaur. So to me, I mean, that's this definitely a TapSnap's killer feature. There's been a lot of fantastic TapSnap moments, um, but to me, probably my favorite moment was uh, we did a, a celebrity art auction in Los Angeles. It was the the charity was um, it's called Linda's Voice. It's to put an end to domestic violence, and it was a great event for a great cause. But what made it really fun for me was that there was a traditional photo booth there as well, and um, it was it was funny because the you know we had a lineup all night of people you know people were coming back to use tap snap you know over and over again, and the guys with the traditional photo booth you know they might have taken three or four pictures the whole night, and there's actually a photo that we took of the operator of that photo booth at our tap snap machine holding up a sign. You know, written on the sign was, you know, hey, we're here too, come try our photo booth. And at that point, we definitely knew we had a game-changing piece of technology and, um, you know, something that was going to, you know, change the landscape of, of photo entertainment.